Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Unique here, and today we're gonna clean up those vocals. My uncle Unique made this one. Yeah, it's your boy Unique from 99 Doors Entertainment, and today is Tutorial Thursdays, and today we're gonna go over how to clean up vocals in your mix. Today we got a song that I just got finished mixing from my boy Output. I'm gonna leave a link to his TikTok down in the description. So definitely go check him out. He will be dropping this song shortly. So definitely follow him to find out where he's gonna drop this song. So today we're gonna go over how to clean up vocals and we're gonna take it from this. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. I came up from the bottom. This for everyone that doubted. To this. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. I came up from the bottom, this for everyone that doubted. So if you want to learn tips like this, definitely hit that subscribe and that like button down below. And if you got any questions for me, leave them in the comments. I will hit you up as soon as I get a chance. And I appreciate all y'all that show me love. But let's go ahead and jump back into it. So we're going to start off with the raw vocal, which is right here. And the first thing I do with all my vocals, I turn my vocals down to the ideal volume that I want it to be. Before I even start a compression or anything like that, so I turn the vocal down. Once I do that, I get rid of all the empty noises in it. So this right here, the beginning, this part right here, all this right here where it's nothing but silence, I would go in and just get rid of those. And here go a quick logic tip for you. If you right click on it, you can go right here and do remove all silence. And it pop up with this right here in this screen. You can automatically just go through and you can adjust it if you want to, how much you want it to cut, but I always just leave it as default and say, okay. And it automatically get rid of all the silent areas for you. So you don't have to do that. So you might wonder why you do that. If there's any background noise that you don't want or anything like that, you might want to get rid of it. So you do not hear that in the background. That's the main reason why I do it. A lot of people that I do mixes for, they do not have a treated room. So this right here help eliminate all that extra sound in the background. And also putting the gate on the vocals also help. But we get into that later. So once I do that, the next thing I do that also level out the vocals is automation. So if you look at it right here, you see that the end of every bar or every phrase that he say is louder than the rest of it. So what I would do is go through and I will turn certain parts up, like this part right here. I will go through and animate it so it can be louder. Let me zoom in. So I will go here. And this part right here. I will just turn it down just a little, not too much more than everybody else. So. Yeah, you talk about it. Just subtle, but it helps in the long run. Just to help clean up the volume. And you can also go through with a lot of the S's and turn the S's down too. So the your DS'er don't have to get hit so hard or you don't have to do too much DS'er. So you can also go through and find the S's in this and turn those down. But I already did this process. I'm going to just move up to right here. And this right here is the vocal after I finish going through and levering everything out. So everything is pretty much at the same volume. This right here is my vocal chain. I'm just gonna turn that off right now. Just so you can hear how it sounds right now after I finish levering everything out. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. I came up from the bottom. This for everyone that doubted. He also record with reverb and auto-tune on it. Me, I wanna control it on my end. So I let him record that way, but I go through and when I'm removing the silent areas, I'm also getting rid of his reverb and I'm gonna replace it with my reverb later. As of right now, that's where we at. I got the vocals leveled out. And the next thing I wanna do is put on my vocal chain. Now everybody's vocal chain is different, but this is my vocal chain. The plugin I'm using is Nectar by Native Instruments. This is my go-to for my vocal chain, but stock plugins also work. So if he was doing singing, cause he liked to do a lot of singing, I will also use pitch correction on top of the auto tune, just a little tad bit. But, but this one right here, he doing more rapping than he is singing. So I didn't use the pitch correction. So it's off as you can see. But the first thing I would do is run it through a de-esser. And I'm gonna let y'all hear what it sound like with a de-esser. I'm gonna turn everything else off. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. 
I came up from the bottom, this for everyone that doubted. Now for anybody out there that say that really didn't help, it didn't take away anything, here you go, I'm gonna let you hear what it took out. This is the first thing that I run through. I try to get rid of all any of the S's and stuff like that while I'm going through it. But this is not the only thing controlling that area either. So after I hit it with the de I go over to the EQ. This is one of two EQs that I'm using. With the first EQ, I do subtractive EQ in. So basically, I'm going through and I'm getting rid of any harsh, boxy, or unpleasant sound. So I'm going to let you hear it one more time without it. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. I came up from the bottom, this for everyone that doubted. And this right here is with the subtractive EQ. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. I came up from the bottom, this for everyone that doubted. I know this don't make a big difference, especially if you're listening to it on your phone or you're listening through it through just the speakers on your computer. But I suggest you have headphones on it just to hear the small changes in the vocals as I'm going through and changing it. Just so you hear, just so you understand, I'm going to explain each one. So right here, I subtract anything below 100 hertz. Sometimes I go higher. Sometimes I go a little bit back. But basically, I want that to be just for my bass, my kick and my 808. So my bass line, anything like that. So I subtract that off. After that, I go through and find any of the boxy frequencies and I just eliminate those. It's normally like one or two in the high end and one or two in the low end that I really want to get rid of. And I don't take it out much. I just go down maybe one to two dBs. Just see, as you can see, this one right here is minus 1.5. This one is minus 1.8. This one right here is 3. This one right here is harsh. But again, I'm just trying to get rid of the unpleasant frequencies. And then after that, I run it through a compressor. Now again, I run two compressors also. I run two EQs and two compressors. My compressors, I do not hit it hard at all. The first one is softer than the second one. So this is my first compressor. compressor. And as you can see, the ratio is 1.5 rounding up. So one and attack is 1.5 releases what 5.6. I just put it down here just to tap the top of each of each sound wave, just where they really peak in. I, again, I don't want to smush the vocal. I actually got something else in mind when I want to smush the vocal. But this right here is just to help get everything leveled out. Now, once I run it through the first compression, I move over to my second EQ. Now, with my second EQ, I want to boost the frequencies I want to hear. And again, I just want to subtract some of the frequencies I don't want to hear. So again, this low end, I'm cutting that. I do not need anything down here and everything. And you might think, well, if I got a low voice, do I keep the low end? No, no, it's not worth it. All professionals, they cut the low end. You don't want to keep that. And again, I'm just cutting the low end, containing that, because I want my 808s and my bass lines, kits and all that down here. I'm boosting the highs to bring some air into his vocals. So I boost the highs, and this right here is the best sounding part, the best sounding frequencies as far as his vocals. So I'm boosting that right there. And again, this area right here is where I subtract it. I'm not trying to really boost that area. So I left that alone. I'm gonna let y'all get a quick listen after the compression in the second EQ. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. I came up from the bottom. This for everyone that doubted. So that's how it sound after I did the second EQ. After the second EQ, again, one more compressor. And this compressor, compressed a lot harder than the first one, but again, it's not much. The ratio is four to one and the tech is five. And the release is 50. So again, I'm attacking it, but I'm not going to attack it too hard. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. I came up from the bottom. This for everyone that doubted. This one's going to hit everything a lot harder, but I don't want to hit it so hard that it smush everything. I still want the dynamics in the vocals. So again, I'm not going to squish it too hard. But that's pretty much my vocal chain just to clean up the vocals. After that, that's when I get to the fun part. So he did not record any ad libs for the hook. So I went through and I doubled it, doubled it, and I painted it left and right. With the main vocal, I ran it through a compressor that I called the Hulk. And why do I call it the Hulk? Because I smashed the crap out of this vocal. This is not on my vocal chain. This is sitting off to the side. I bust this through it, and I control how much I want to go through it. When I play it, 
it's going to boost the loudness of the frequencies without taking away the dynamic. So I'm going to play this real quick so you can hear it. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. I came up from the bottom. This for everyone that doubted. Again, I do this to bring up the loudness and the clarity of the words. Just because I want you to be able to hear it. But I do not want to take away from the emotion and the dynamics away from the vocals. So that's why I do it that way. And then, so the second thing I did was run it through a reverb from some matters. Just to give it a little tap of reverb on it. Again, I took away his reverb tails because I want to add my own on there. And I'm gonna let y'all give a quick listen to this. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. I came up from the bottom. This for everyone that doubted. So once I added those two things on, then I really had fun. And I doubled the vocals and I panned one left and I panned one right. And then I basically copy and paste the same EQ, the same vocal chain down. Cause it is the same vocal, so why change anything? So I copied and pasted the same vocal chain down. But with this, I added a stereo delay on both sides to differentiate them from each ear. And I also pitched them down one semitone. I'm gonna play the doubles by itself real quick. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. I came up from the bottom. This for everyone that doubted. Okay, and then all together, they sound like. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. Came up from the bottom, it's for everyone that doubted. It and then lastly, I wanted to echo the feel of some of these in these areas. So I did this right here. And again, I could just chopped it as you can see. And added an echo on each one. Yes, I could have added an echo just by adding a plug in. But I like a little bit more control with my reverbs. So I went through. And I did this for all the empty spaces, as you can see. And then I added Endless Smile, just to bring them up and make them sound a little different. Added a different kind of reverb on them. But I'm going to play it, and y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm going to play it without the beat first. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. I came up from the bottom. This for everyone that doubted. Yeah, this for everyone that doubted. And now I'm gonna play it with the beat, but that's it. That's my vocal chain. That's how I clean up vocals. And if you do anything different, if you use any other plugins or you got a different vocal chain, please let me know down in the comments and I will check that out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You wanna see more videos like this? Definitely hit that subscribe button. I drop tutorials every Thursday and we talk about the music business on Mondays. So definitely stick around. And I'm happy for you to join the family. I'm going to go ahead and push play on this. Show love to my boy Output. And y'all let me know what y'all think. Deuces. Yeah, you talk about it. I'm really about it. I came up from the bottom. This for everyone that doubted. Yeah, this for everyone that doubted. I've been on it like every day. All day. Every night. Every night. It's only right. It's only right. It's only right. It's only right. It's only right, it's only right, it's only right, it's only right.